Metamaterials, from the Greek word meta, meaning beyond, are composite materials that are engineered to provide material properties that are not otherwise attainable with ordinary materials. These properties are due to structure, and not material composition. For example, famous metamaterials are those with negative refractive index that can provide an alternative to glass when making lenses. Some metamaterials are designed to perform self-guided shape changes, whereas for other metamaterials their time dependence of their softening or hardening can be tuned. Furthermore, metamaterials can be designed according to desire in properties like their chirality, magnetic conductivity and their Poisson ratio. In the world of metamaterials, there is still a lot to discover, but for this video, we will explain the physics behind metamaterials with the negative Poisson's ratio. So what is the Poisson ratio, and what does it tell us about the material? The Poisson ratio is a material property that describes the material's reaction to being stretched or compressed, and is defined as the negative ratio between the strain in the direction perpendicular to the direction of compression and the strain in the direction of the compression. This is equal to saying that the Poisson's ratio is the ratio between the transfer strain and the actual strain. This means that for a negative Poisson ratio, the ratio of the two strains should be positive. Hence, if the material is being compressed, it would contract in the direction perpendicular to the compression. Or, it would expand if this compression is negative, and the material is thus being elongated. To clarify this line of thought, let's look at the different possible values the Poisson's ratio can take. The Poisson's ratio of a material can lie between minus 1 and 0 0.5. It can be constant, or for nonlinear materials, it can vary between values within this range upon compression or elongation. Let's first look at a positive Poisson's ratio. If nu is positive, this means a material should expand in a direction perpendicular to its compression, or become thinner upon elongation. Most materials have a Poisson's ratio somewhere between 0 0.25 and 0 0.35. The maximum value is 0.5, which is a characteristic of incompressible materials. Here we see the compression of such an incompressible material. One can see its transverse expansion upon compression, where its volume does not change. Hence, its actual strain is completely compensated for by its transverse strain. Now let's consider a Poisson's ratio of 0. Perhaps you can already imagine what happens. Namely, upon actual compression or elongation, its transversal strain will be equal to zero, and thus the material will not change shape in these directions. A Poisson's ratio of zero is typical for sponge-like materials, as you can see in this video. This is what makes cork the perfect material to seal a bottle of wine. So now what remains is the possibility for new to be less than zero. What happens here might feel somewhat counterintuitive. Namely, these materials shrink in their transversal direction upon actual compression. Metamaterials can be designed to have this material property, as you can see for this porous structure. Poisson's ratios of such metamaterials can be designed to be either nonlinear, as is the case for this sample, or constant upon compression. They can even be designed to also have a negative Poisson's ratio in the opposite case, where they expand upon elongation. Very few natural materials display this behavior. Metamaterials with a negative Poisson ratio show to be very successful in shock dampening or absorption. This can be used in for example knee protection or even the protection of equipment in rockets. Thanks for watching.